there's one more element we can add in here to make the riders push forward even more powerful. So if my arms were her body, here's the back of her, here's the front of her, the gap between the two is her thickness, she can think of pushing the back of her towards the front of her as if she literally had no thickness, as if she was a plane that was two-dimensional on the level of the front of her body. It could be rather as if somebody had their hands on your back, pushing you forward, particularly down here at the level of your sacrum. So now we have the whole picture of how the rider can push forward bigger than the horse's push back. She pushes the back of her towards the front of her as if she had no thickness. She pushes her guts against her skin in bearing down. She thinks of pushing the whole of her tummy there out towards the horse's neck. The thighs pull forward out of the hip socket. All of this creates the force of her push from the back towards the front going for making it bigger than the horse's push back. And there's something else she can do here to make it even stronger. And this concerns the tendons at the top of the thigh just here that join the big um, quadriceps muscle up here into the pelvis. Now, if I get Rachel to just lift her leg a little bit, I can feel there's a couple of tendons at the front here that stick out against my finger. Now, what you need to do, Rachel, here is to gradually drop your leg down and see if you can keep those tendons sticking out. That's great. Now let them go. Okay. Now let's lift your leg again. Feel how the tendons stick out against my fingers. Can you feel that? I almost feel a little bit of cramp on it sometimes. Do you? Okay. See if you can keep them sticking out as you gradually drop your leg down. Now, as you drop your leg, tendons will want to disappear. That's what they would naturally do. They'd lose the sticking out. But what you want to do is to hold the tendon sticking out as you drop your leg down and get to the point where you can just think of lifting your leg and getting the tendons to stick out. Now Rachel's actually doing this really quite well here. I can, I can feel them against my fingers. They feel like taut pieces of rope when they're engaged. And I usually suggest to riders that they think of pulling these tendons towards the horse's ears, as if there was a piece of elastic, very strong elastic round these tendons, fixed to his ears on both sides and pulling them forward. That's great. So this is where these tendons are on me. When I stick them out, you can maybe see a little difference as my fingers move. What also happens as I stick them out is the thigh becomes more triangular in shape. When I let it go here, it becomes flatter. It widens out here more triangular as I stick out the tendon, wider as I let it go, more triangular as I stick it out, wider as I let it go. Let me show you from the side. That's me sticking it out, that's where I let it go. There I stick it out, there I let it go. There I stick it out, there I let it go. And this is something to practice until you can stick out those tendons at will and you really develop the strength in them and in this top section on the quadriceps muscle that that gives you. And as you're doing this, Rachel, just lift your chin, look up a little bit more. That's it. See if you can have your attention go over his head. You don't need to look down at his head, look down at his neck. That's it. And if you don't get his attention, you know, do it again. Do it really sharp and definite. He's got to know you're there. Check out with your chin again that that stays up there. That round there is really good. Feel the shape of his back, Rachel. Keep feeling for it. Keep fitting around that shape. Keep having his ears. Keep fitting around that shape. So even if he changes, you're doing your damnedest not to. Sorry? Even if he changes his shape, Rachel, you're doing your damnedest not to. This is good. What's the shape of the back there now? Um, now it's falling a bit. Okay. Have you got his attention? Um back. Okay. Oh, well ridden. Very well ridden. Very well ridden. Yes, well done. Yes, well done. Very good. That was brilliant, Rachel. Your thighs there worked perfectly. That was really well done. Yes. Yes. Now cash in on that. Come on, keep doing it. And there he caught her out by backing off into the corner, losing impulsion, and just loosening her framework that way. Rachel, you be ready for him round this corner. See if you can really have your kneecap pointing down. Really have your thigh snug. That's excellent. Keep having his ears. Keep having that thigh. Keep having the ears. Keep doing that thigh. And having his ears. 
and having that thigh and be ready to keep him going forward round here with the ears and with the thigh. I'm very good. Yeah, That's it. The thigh all those times when he, when he beat me to it. Right. That and now if you remember the thigh, you can beat him to it. Be ready to keep his ears and keep your thighs and keep his ears and keep your thighs and keep his ears and keep your thighs. Oh, whoops, he got you a little. Good girl, well rescued. That's it. That's it. Be ready for this corner, Rachel. Have your thighs. Don't let him back off. That's it. Well done. Well ridden. What's the shape of the back? It's coming up now. Good. Keep going for it. Well, I'm not sure whether it's coming up or he's dropping, but it's more rounded. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Be ready for this corner. Ready with those thighs. That's it.